let's say, Chuckers, that you did not have a very good time in high school. But I did. But I'll, I'll imagine that right. I did not. You're suspending disbelief here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you were one of the less popular kids, perhaps because of that one time you wore that cape to school. Yeah. It didn't go nearly <laughs> as well as you had expected it would. I thought I would be uh, lauded as a superhero among my peers. Right. But they made fun of me. Right. Okay. Um, and that pretty much set the timber for the rest of your high school experience. <laughs> and, and life. It really stuck with you, you know? Uh-huh. It really got in your craw mm-hmm. that that you were so mistreated in high school. Right. And you had a couple of friends, mm-hmm. Kevin and Jim, mm-hmm. and um, they had similar experiences. And you guys are now in your 30s or 40s. You've got a little money, <laughs> and you still are driven by bitter anger. Right. You want vengeance, right? Right. So you're not exactly the type to... Um, kill somebody no 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 and um your idea of revenge is pretty grand so what you decide to do is to start your own country hey that's a good way to get back at the the jerks in high school exactly this is the the legal way to do it right okay all you do start your own country Mm -hmm. um and you invite these guys to come visit and then throw them in prison the moment they get there (laughs) okay Done. Maybe even put them on a terrorist watch list before they get there uh-huh. and not alert your authorities yeah. of what's going on and then just sit back and r- wait for the uh, the good times to roll. Right. Okay? All right. Done. There's a couple of problems here. Okay. One, you have no idea how to start your own country. Well, I do in real life because I've read your article, but yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. We're here to tell you. That's right. So everyone who hears this podcast will know how to start their own country, pretty much. And it's easier than you'd think. Uh, in theory, sure. Well, let's let's talk about it, Chuck. All right. Okay. Well, one way, Josh, that you can do so, and history has shown that it it's works, is uh, a larger nation, let's say Great Britain. They used to be into colonizing places all over the world. Yeah, here or there. Lovely places. To, they like to relax on the beach. Mm-hmm. And... Um, they did so well. Rhodesia is not exactly on the beach, but I was speaking of like the Virgin Islands. Sure, uh, but they did that. A larger nation uh, colonized a smaller one and changed the name to Rhodesia and said, "This is a new country." Yes, you are now Rhodesians. Yep. And if you don't like it, we've got guns here. And that is one way to do it. And then there's the opposite way to do it. Uh huh. You could be a Rhodesian and be like, you know what? We have guns now too. Right. Or Zimbabwe. And now this place is called Zimbabwe. Yeah. Yeah. Zulu, 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 Zulu. Yeah. Um, and then there's, uh, let's see, the kind of secession that where you go buy an island. Yeah. And basically say, okay, this island is now its own thing. Yeah. I think, didn't Marlon Brando own his own island? Yeah. I don't think he tried to make it his own country, although he may have. There are a significant number of islands for sale in the world. Really? Yeah. They're, they're pretty small, though, huh? Or I guess they range. I mean, they're small enough, or they're big enough. Right. The problem is the um, getting electricity. That's the that's the big problem, I think. Yeah. Although, if I was going to buy an island, I would try and keep it off grid, you know, or or you know, do the solar thing or Did something you really? like that. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, I'd deck my island out. Well, I'd want mine decked out though. But you can still deck it out with solar panels and like the the uh, Swiss Family Robinson or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's just how I roll. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. 